You still would want to bring them in, you know, to kill manlands. Yeah. And uh, and Broodmate Dragon is just like the card that you always want to draw when you're you get into that top deck mode after you know <laughs> you trade all your cascade things and you're lightning each other and you're both on empty. People Broodmate been upping Dragon. the numbers of Broodmate Dragon yeah. for the matchup. Yeah, Broodmate besides Broodmate don't want them. <laughs> like, Broodmate, Broodmate, Broodmate like, Dragon and Venomous Blast are the, the cards that you want to draw. So to to cut those. So he kept the future leeches and maelstrom pulses, but people will probably say the weaker cards in the deck. Right, right, and, and, and left his rune blasters in the board yeah. and ordered <laughs> out his roommate dragons. It's uh, it's interesting. It'd be interesting to see if that's how he's been boarding against John all day, or if he hasn't played against John all day, or if he just you know, got lucky. Because I, I don't, I don't think that that's that's optimal. You know, I, I'm not sure. I haven't tested. You know, I don't want to judge the guy's play, but from from my experience that. That hasn't been the, the right way to play it. Yeah, I'm unsure. Watching a lot of Jun matches, it just seems like the broodmates are really important. Yeah, the broodmates <laughs> always kind of uh, close things out. And the future teacher just sit there. <laughs> yeah, and get pulsed. Yep. But he's undefeated and we're not. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is, uh, did we get to see what Steve was doing in the I, I couldn't catch with Steve because I was uh, trying to figure out what Josh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was, if he was really doing that. So he's talking about you add Dazium for Death Shadow and Bushwhacker. <laughs> Bushwhacker and attack with your hasty 13 13s. <laughs> That's my plan tomorrow. Bolt them when they go off with that. I think I'm one of the games where like, I was like, oh, I'm going to do a little bit more recast. And I blind him, and he's like, oh, it's far from Worst, like, yeah. Oh, at least he didn't We see that little happy Maelstrom Paul still sitting in Josh's deck. Yeah, if I, if I were him here, I would probably take out leeches and pulses for for rune blasters and, and broodmates. <laughs> bring back your good cards. Yeah. Well, it, it'll be interesting to see how this how this plays out for him. It's also interesting because rampant growth is considered much better than explorer in the jungler. So you have a guy with stags made. You know, set up for the John Muir, and then the, his opponent is playing Explorer over Ramp of Growth. Well, accidentally revealed an extra card. Judge. It's going to be uh, Warning and then Shuffle. Yep. Did he reveal? Did he... <laughs> I don't know. He just, he just flipped over the, the top card while he's doing his deck. Judge knocks over the uh, parents board while trying to get to the table. <laughs> Should just be a simple yep, so warning for looking at extra cards and then okay, reshuffle with that. Yep. I'm sure it was a mistake this year, but I'm not there again. Uh, for those that didn't realize it, uh, Josh accidentally looked at the extra card. So after he dealt, dealt his hand, yeah. uh, he was putting the excess cards back on top of his deck, and one kind of stuck to his hand and flipped over. Okay. Uh, both keeping and starting it off with the Savage Lands. Does he have any land in his hand? <laughs> looks like lots of it spells. Looks like he's got two lands on the draw, but Terminate's not even good. They were brought in. <laughs> That pulse that's not even good. <laughs> He's got a blightning, which is pretty key in this matchup. Uh, explore, master. Oh, there's a stag. Stag, and mind rot. Right. Just runs the stag out there. Interesting. We do not have an answer. You're off one turn. Oh. Start drawing lands off top. <laughs> Looks like okay, he's got oh, another, another one, okay. another one uh, stuck back there. And he's got a Verdant Catacomb stuck in the back. Oh, all right. <laughs> Through an X. No Blood Braid? No, it's going to be Attack Master. <laughs> 
steals his opponent's pen. Other stay. All right. Oh, this interesting. Could, this could be good. <laughs> this good for not, Steve. Uh, yeah, not look like a too good of a race here. This Terminator pulses could have been roommates coming up. And pulse that does. <laughs> It's actually interesting Josh slowly because, learning why Pulse isn't that well, good. Well, <laughs> it's interesting because he could have pulsed his, his Thrinax there and tried to use it to block a, a stag. All right, so but I guess he's just going to take the six. <laughs> if, if he had pulsed, then he would have to leave his Blood Braid back and try and trade with both, which leaves him open to removal. So what he's decided to do instead is leave his Thrinax unpulsed and uh, attack into the stag and... If the stag wanted to eat it, then he would trade with the, the crack back, and if not, then he's racing. Sadly, it's a very losing race for him. And oh, just three. Looks like we're gonna we're gonna eat the Thrinax this turn. Excellent. Master has to die here. Yeah, it's gonna this turn is gonna be terminate it, attack with both my guys, lightning you, which is a pretty good turn. I think the key to this matchup is that it's the gold sleeves against this disgusting salmon orange. Uh, you know, gold is obviously a lot more powerful. <laughs> That's true. Lightning gets rid of Mind Rot and Broodmate. What is with these people just throwing their Broodmates away? Don't need it. <laughs> yeah, terminate it, attack. Gonna eat the Thrinax, which is gonna in turn take eat. three, bring the life totals to 1311. Oh, he's got his own Rashad tokens. Oh, okay. So Steve falls to eight after that attack. 813 then? Yeah. Does not want to trade a stag for the Thrinax remains. What's interesting is if casting uh, Master of the Wild Hunt last turn was necessary after casting Explore, maybe he should have just held it and uh, protect his broodmate. And lightning. yeah, protect padded his hand against lightning for for broodmate. Yeah, get rid of that uh, raging ravine. It's gonna take six here and go to two. 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 So I guess. He, uh, he's going to play another Raging Ravine here, too. Wow. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess that cyborg plan worked out for him. And Steve extends the hand. He blanked his blue, uh, Blood Braid Elf and still didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he had a lot of uh, pretty much dead removal spells in his hand. And then bricked off a Blood Braid and still won. That's the power of Blightning. I mean, if he didn't have Blightning there, then, you know, yeah. his next turn was Broodmate Dragon. That changes the, the entire about race. What's that? Tell people about Orlando. Oh, our next Star City Games event. Uh, of course, if you guys want to see us in uh, Indiana's little farm, maybe Orlando's closer for you, so you can check us out. At the end of this month, it's uh, the 27th to 28th Star City 10K weekend. We'll have, um, we, I don't know what kind of tokens we'll have there. We'll have at least our regular ones. Pick up some tokens if you like there. And join us for some fun. <laughs> so far, I guess the stream's back on us. So Is it? Oh, not yet. I don't know. I, I, I can't. My stream. Oh, well, now it's back on us. Then I can see me. stream cut out. Let's try to refresh it. Refresh the whole thing? No, just hit that little refresh button. Was that the end of the match? Yep. Oh, I thought there was still some more. I was going to get you guys ice cream. But I guess since there you, is... I mean, I mean, you can still get uh, us ice cream. Actually, they're still playing. Look, I, they just want to write on that paper for fun. Oh, like you can't eat ice cream while they're not playing. I mean, there's another round in a half hour. I, I oh, can, half hour. I, I mean, could go <laughs> to the side events and ask them to... Uh, yeah, set up a few oh, events for us <laughs> just so we can get our ice cream. So, uh, we have some side events. Maybe I'll see if the Bill Stark feature is still going. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm we sure can get uh, some double coverage on that one. Well, that was pretty quick and not too much exciting. 
That's it's interesting that we were criticizing his board plan so much, and then he just absolutely. Well, I think we were still.